I want to say hello to everyone. I'm here at Blanquel Arts here in the city of Fullerton in honor of Hispanic Heritage Month. I thought I'd share with you all something that for me is very important, which is the culture, the Latin American culture. My culture in particular is Mexican culture. And I ran across about seven or eight years ago to Mr. Blanquel here. And Mr. Blanquel owns this shop. And has, I've purchased items from here because he brings to us here from his native part of Mexico, his craftsmanship, his art, something that he's been doing for half a century or more now. And so I want to introduce you to El Señor Blanquel. This is El Señor Blanquel. Saludos a la comunidad. ¿Qué tal? Buenas tardes. Yo soy Florencio Blanquel. He makes the furniture that's here inside the shop for us. I, like I said, I've purchased it a lot, but I've always asked him questions. What inspired you to do this? So when he was younger, he was in elementary school, middle and high school. He was learning how to do these crafts. He was training to become a teacher, but he fell in love with the, the shop element of it and started practicing his art. So he brings a rustic Spanish, rustic art style from Mexico in Jalisco, where he is from. And he's been doing this for a very long time. Yeah, aquí tenemos como unos 35 años. So they've been here in the States now for 35 years, 20 in this shop. Este, este es un proyecto de barriles de vino. So he, he made these, these are, these are um, wine barrels in particular that he's converted into seats. And sometimes when you go to places, you're forced to, to buy a whole set, but sometimes the person just wants one item. His clients know this about him, so they'll come and order in pieces and they'll get these materials for him. Many years ago when I came by, I noticed that they're in the, before it was a lot different, but in the alleyway, there were numerous artists out there showing themselves in the act of producing art and creating art. So it wasn't an exhibit. These were artists who were sharing their craft with anyone in the community. And I was asking him, whatever happened to that? So he said, the pandemic hit us, of course, but the love for their craft, the love for their art has always been still prevalent. And so on Fridays, once a month, He's, he's now started to encourage local artists to come out here. So he'll be outside, he pops up his materials and his tools outside and he'll start chiseling away, carving away, making projects. So people from the community who know, and a lot of them do, walk around and they'll see him in, in the art of what he's doing, in the, in the act of what he's doing, as well as local painters. So they're not seeing an exhibit. And in fact, what they're seeing is the production of art and the process it takes to get into it. He has had students work up. He's gone to locations or had children come and do work. So he'll make the custom frame. He's sigue pintando. So he's had guests come over. And this is one of the things I love about art, how it impacts people and it has a different influence depending on who we are. And he's had children that come in here and he'll ask parents because their children are offering critique about what they like. Y yo le pregunto, ¿les gusta hacer arte a su niño? Sí, sí les gusta. And he'll ask the parents, hey, do your kids enjoy art? And the kids have said, yes, I like art. So he tells kids, go ahead and bring two pieces. One for you, I'm going to frame it for you and give it to you. And the second piece will stay here in the shop. And I'll sell it, right? And so he tells the children, you're going to notice that your art is going to sell. He has kids that come back years later, now in high school and beyond, who have shared with him how much they still are in the act of producing art. That's how much of an influence this shop has been for some people. Over 50 years, he's been producing this type of artwork and a lot of it was, like I said, he learned it as a trade when he was in middle school and high school, and he's continued to develop his craft. And the work here is beautiful. I use it, I have it, and many of his stuff that I purchased here from my home and gifted it to families. But I'm always appreciative of the conversations when he talks about how he learned this, or the impact behind this, or the story behind the skulls and the calaveras. I've always found those to be pretty fascinating because with each art piece, there's a story. And that's how we pass legends. And so in honor of Hispanic Heritage Month, I asked him if he'd like to share his art with us and he'd like to share the shop so that my students and my community can see firsthand not just his work, what the community does, but the value that he puts in it. So, gracias de la comunidad de nosotros aquí en Escuela Valencia por tu, contribuir su tu tienda, por compartir todo lo que hace aquí, por su arte, por, su, por todo lo que usted representa en lo que es nuestra cultura, en la artesanía. The shop has always meant something very special to me coming in. So gracias. Thank you for w watching. Thank you for uh, this contribution to the Blancao family for their work in Spanish heritage. Thank you.